Hello fellow travelers, hopefully you're doing well. Today we're just going to show how I managed to get Octopath Traveler working on Bluestacks. Let's hop on in. So let's go straight from the desktop. So here we do not have anything open. We are just going to hop in and we're going to actually just start up Bluestacks right from the beginning. And I am going to fast forward through this until it's all loaded up. Alright guys, so here you see I do have Octopath Traveler and NetBlocker installed. NetBlocker is a very important application. It is a free app. You don't have to pay for it at all. Uh, it does have ads, but you can just skip through them. Uh, that said, this is a very important key part to making this all function properly. But before we jump into these applications and how to run them in sequence, let's hop in and just make sure that your operating system or your instance for Bluestacks is running at a 64-bit. I do not know if this will work on a 32. I just know that it does work for me on the NuGet 64 bit. So once you have that running, go through your, your setup process, get everything all functioning properly uh, and loaded up so that way your Google account and everything is connected. Uh, from there, I'll just show you quickly what my settings are for my system and my cores. I'm running at four core, four gig res uh, memory allocation, high performance, frame rate is set to 60, no other things checked off. Uh, display, I'm going at uh, 1600 by 900. Um, I'm trying to do a nice medium DPI and as for the phone, I'm selected as a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I find that what it, this phone uh, profile does is it removes those sidebars that are often showing up in, in streams. So this uh, fixes it, makes it nice and full and looks fantastic. And now what we're going to do is first you're going to go to your Google Play Store and you're going to download NetBlocker. Again, the one that I have installed is this NetBlocker Firewall Per App. Uh, it does have an update for me, which I should probably do, but I do not have it currently. It is a free application. There is no cost to you. Uh, so get that, install it. Okay, then once you have that installed, of course, get your Octopath Traveler installed and updated. And then once you have those two fully installed on your system, you, what you'll do is you first start up your net blocker. You'll make sure that you scroll until you find Octopath Traveler inside your others. And then you allow it that that's the one that you want to be disabled when your on off switch is on the on state. So mine's selected. I have no other apps selected, none at all. So what I'll do now is I will go to the on. This will immediately remove any internet access for Octopath Traveler within Bluestacks. So I'll try to open up Octopath Traveler and you'll notice that I had that loading screen and now it disappeared. Now it's trying to connect to the server and it's having a hard time because it has no internet access. And what we do is we wait till we get the prompt. Okay, now, we, now that we have the prompt, we actually switch back to the net blocker and we disable it. So we turn the internet back on to the application. Now we go and retry. There you go. You can see an immediate difference. Now the game is loading. And there you go, guys. You now have Octopath Traveler, Champions of the Continent, working on Bluestacks 5 under NuGet 64-bit. Hopefully this video helped you out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care, travelers.